Speaker's Corner is now Sharia Corner. Here's the description of the corner formerly known as Speaker's Corner from the Royal Parks website. Speaker's Corner is a traditional site for public speeches and debates since the mid-1800s when protests and demonstrations took place in Hyde Park. Speaker's Corner is located on the northeast edge of Hyde Park, nearest Marble Arch and Oxford Street. Historic figures such as Karl Marx, Vladimir Lenin, and George Orwell were known to often use the area to demonstrate free speech. In 1872, an act of parliament set aside this part of Hyde Park for public speaking. Even today, on a Sunday morning, it's not unusual to find crowds gathering at Speaker's Corner to listen to enthusiasts expounding their views. Anyone can turn up unannounced to speak on any subject as long as the police consider their speeches lawful. What's that? Anyone can turn up unannounced to speak on any subject as long as the police consider their speeches lawful? That's actually no longer correct, because Islam. This past Sunday, Hatun Tash showed up at the corner formerly known as Speaker's Corner with a Quran that had holes drilled into it. Hatun's holy Quran was a visible illustration of Yasser Qadi's claim that there are holes in the narrative, that is, holes in the myth of perfect preservation. And since the Charlie Hebdo massacre trial is this month, Hatun had some printouts of some of the Charlie Hebdo Muhammad cartoons. If there is a problem, some people think they should simply, they should simply have full respect to a book which is causing you to be dehumanized. People think they need to have a respect towards a book which identifies you as the worst of creatures. Charlie Hebdo magazine, this is a special edition. It is put together in the intention Eight people were killed, and it was the anniversary of that. Eight people were killed because they simply drew the picture of Muhammad. Towards evening, a large crowd formed and began yelling. <laughs> Then there was a bit of a shoving match. <laughs> police decided to intervene, and the crowd apparently loves knocking the hats off of police officers. <laughs> Speaking of hats, hats off to this guy and this guy. Based on the videos I've seen from last Sunday, these guys seem to stand with Hatun to protect her from a mob of about 70 people who want to rip her apart for exposing their book and their fake prophet. Not surprisingly, the mob tossed around accusations of racism. Shame on you! You are racist, man! These people are racist! Allah is racist! Shame on them! What did police do about the angry mob? They decided to forcibly remove Hatun from the corner formerly known as Speaker's Corner.
In America, this is what's called the heckler's veto. A heckler's veto occurs when police silence or remove a speaker because they're worried about the reaction of the crowd. Think about the message that British police just sent to the Dawa teams at the corner formerly known as Speaker's Corner. British police just said to Muslims, if you don't like what someone is saying, just form an angry mob and we'll remove the person for you. If someone is criticizing Muhammad, just surround the person and start yelling and we'll silence the person for you. If someone is criticizing the Quran, just start throwing things and we'll make the person stop. If someone tells you something that you don't want to hear, just start shouting Allahu Akbar and we'll be your muscle in destroying that person's ability to speak. In other words, British police just announced that in Great Britain, even at the corner formerly known as Speaker's Corner, the former international hub of free speech, you only have a right to speak if Islamic Dawah teams say you have a right to speak. The British government just put your right to speak into the hands of people who are calling for your violent subjugation and who want you to keep your mouth shut while they subjugate you. The few people who are willing to openly oppose the subjugation of Great Britain to Islam are forcibly removed by the British government, thus clearing a path for ever-increasing Sharia compliance. And don't forget that, according to the British government, if you're at all concerned about the spread of an ideology that is destroying your ability to speak in your own defense, if you don't want your life to be controlled by the commands of an illiterate 7th century caravan robber, you're a racist and a bigot, and you need to be dragged out of the realm of public discourse, just like Hatun and everyone else who still has a spine. If you'd like a fuller discussion of the transformation of Speaker's Corner into Sharia Corner, be sure to check out Jay Smith's video. For some strange reason, I think we're going to be hearing more about angry mobs silencing critics of Islam at Sharia Corner, since the mob now knows that British police are their dimmies.